You have 5 seconds to ruin a date. What do you do? Eat my food like I do when I'm on my own. Unhinges his jaw like a snake. Eats pasta with hands. Even better if it has meatballs on it. Propose to them. I met a couple that got engaged on their first date. Still married 20 years later. Great family. My dad asked my mom to marry him the first time they met. She was a waitress at a truck stop and he was joking. But 6 weeks later they ended up married. 53 years and going. Good friends of my wife and I skipped the dating phase and went straight to being engaged to. We were the link that brought them together. As we knew both of them. And they never would have met otherwise. We asked them individually if they were open to receiving the phone number of the other. They were. So we passed on the numbers. As far as I understand. They talked to each other on the phone a few times. And then they agreed to become engaged. It's still working out great 15 years later. That may have been an arranged marriage. Classic Mosby. Schmosby. This could backfire horribly. Yes. Only do it with millionaires or heirs heiresses. Just in case. So. How much did you say you earn? So. How much did you say you earn? Would you like me to phrase it in millions of dollars? Um. Sure. Really? 0.032 million dollars. While gazing at a two page 10 point font checklist. This hurts my soul. Single or double space though. This happened to me on the first. And only. Date with a girl. Told her I worked part time and she started bragging about her expensive car and our conversations essentially went nowhere the whole time. I found out later she was fired from her job for stealing from the till. Rough luck man. Your only date ever and you draw that short straw. My sister told me about a quiet pub date she had with a guy recently who bought himself two packs of pork scratchings. He opened both bags and separated them by most crunchy to least crunchy and then would pick two up at a time and ask her which one he should eat next. He did this for the whole date. They didn't have a second date. I now have a new thing to try when pubs reopen. Hi. Wow. You look just like my ex. Remaining difference won't last long. Slow clap. Oh wow. You look just like my mom. That happened to me. When I was younger, I saw this woman at work who had an amazing figure. Then she turned around, and she had my mom's face. I mean almost exactly. Didn't sound like her at all, and wasn't built the same. But everything hair, shape of her face, eyes, even her glasses. It was wild. It didn't help that this woman started to show an interest in me, and I had to politely decline. I explained why, and she said it couldn't be that close. So I came back the next day and showed her a picture of mom and even she was like wow, I see it. I felt bad. She was nice. And I hope she found someone that made her happy. Your mouth looks just big enough, while she's sipping through a tiny straw. Particularly if you're a girl and tell that to a guy. Big enough for what? He. You know. Your. Hands and feet. Ha ha wait what? This has now become bad date chicken to see who pulls out first. That happens to me. Never see that guy again. Tell them I've played 7000 hours of Dota. Would continue the date and talk about my boy art easy with you. Good jokes mate real funny see you at F Yowge. Leave. Go to the bathroom and don't come back. I used to work at a gaming bar. This dude was on a first date and had been drinking with a girl for a while. An hour or so in. He put like 40 bucks in the machine. He ended up hitting for like $1200 or something. Nothing crazy. But a nice hit. We paid him out and he ordered a round of shots and soon after said he had to use the restroom. Dude bolted. Left the girl with the bill. She legit walked in the bathroom looking for him. Walked around the building. Felt bad for her. She started crying at the bar. Had a shot. And paid the bill while she waited for an Uber. Ouch. If you're looking for ideas. One time a guy leaned over and he please smelled a lock of my hair within the first couple minutes of our meeting for the first time. I made up an excuse and left. You smell different when you're awake. A friend told me a coffee date put his hand on her belly and said soon this will be plump with my seed. Nope 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 nope. In his mind. Sniffs hair imaginary Lydia again. Blushing haha what are you doing? Reality. How are you supposed to fault the guy? It always works in his head. So my date took a big whiff and said herbal essences. UMM no. What is this? 1999? Did he expect you to go oohhhis? That was seriously exactly what happened to me three different times in college. They all said almost exactly the same thing. Your hair smells intoxicating. 
It was always creepy AF. I joked with my roommates that my shampoo conditioner must have been created with some powerful pheromones. They all said almost exactly the same thing. Your hair smalls intoxicating. One day the hive mind will find you a desirable partner and you will be one with the fold. Not quite 5 seconds. But in the first 5 minutes of a first date a guy once said to me that my country should decriminalize abortion because then we'd have less disabled people. Don't mention eugenics in the first 5 minutes of a date. Unless you're dating Eva Braun. What the fuck? Bring my friend and expect my date to treat them. Haha. <laughs> my boyfriend brought his sister to our first date. It was weird. She got too drunk and cried. I read this as bang my friend and expect my date to treat them. Odd threesome you got there. Sh my pants. Sh their pants. My partner works in aged care. One particular resident sometimes wets herself. But she claims every time that wasn't me. Say I love you please marry me I'm not kidding. Ah. The good old Mosby. Classic sh Mosby. That can backfire horribly. Depending if you have seen the person before. PSSH. Hust steal a blue French horn and wait 30 years. So, what's your opinion on STDs? Gotta catch em all, then call me master balls. I don't believe in STDs, it's a government funded mind control program. So what do you say? Wanna be sheeple or woke? When you try to ruin the date but they ruin it even better than you. Uh, isn't it a little early to talk about save the dates? Answer, meh, HPV, herpes and AIDS ain't even STDs, am I right? Shirt overhead. Recite cornholio lines. I need TP for my bunghole. OP said ruin not make them sleep with you. That would do it if I was on a date with you. I'm a really nice guy. Like super nice. I would treat you so good. Now show me your tits. Huh. Well I can't argue with that logic. Here you go. Girl pulls a birdcage with a pair of tits out of her bag. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Take their hand gently inside yours first, and say it in the most actor-concerned voice possible. Morgan Freeman simulator please. I just watch this all play out in my head. You meet someone online who seems to click with you. You arrange to meet at a cozy restaurant. When you arrive they're already at the table, waiting for your, you hi, you look amazing. Date thank. Now I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Pulls out huge wad of paper, and dumps it on the table. Date you see it states here in the terms and condi. I feel like this is more likely to get a good laugh than anything. Five dollars if someone tries this on a first date and reports back the results. First taker only. If I knew the person well, I'd totally do that on a date because I'm dumb. Sniff them then move seductively. I don't know about you but if my BF did that to me I'd be down to smash. BF. Bovine friend. Okay, but now imagine it's date number one with a stranger. Ma -la -ha -la -ha -ha. You don't care that I'm a registered sex offender, right? Had someone do this, left immediately. Did you know you can be registered as a sex offender for having sex with someone under 18? Or, more subtly, I have a better idea for dinner. Let's go to this other place. I've heard the linguine is fantastic and it isn't within 250 yards of a school, which works better for my situation. Demand a foursome with her sister and mother, and father, then leave. That dress makes you look kind of fat. WHO the F is she? It's not my date and I don't know these people. Pour salt on them and say sorry. I really, really, we are early hate slugs. You're just mashing it. Get out of here snail. That's just a reasonable precaution. So, how many dicks have you sucked? 37. In a row? What if she likes that you're competitive OP? Pull up their social media and point out all the things they like that you don't. The color blue. I hate blue it's just too blue. Now magenta that's a color. Sees a beach pic. Me. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Scratch your butt with your hand. Sniff your fingers. Say ww that smells bad. Hold out your hand and ask if they think so too. I think Epstein got a bad rap. He touched so many lives. Punch the waiter. Punch the date. Punch everyone including yourself. Throw water in her face like sorry you looked thirsty. Stalking you is paying off nicely. Do something I'm good at. Quickly find a way to steer the conversation to the eastern front during World War II. 
and just keep talking about Stalingrad. Once their eyes glaze over you know the city on the Volga has claimed yet another life. This move is more commonly known as the Mark Corrigan Offensive. A girl once asked me as a first question on a first date, first meeting, what is the size of you penis? Date ended pretty quick. Fun fact, I saw her years later at a grocery store and had the thought of dropping a cucumber in her cart and saying about that big. A stranger once came up to me and asked me if my dick size was proportional to my height. I just told her that it grows a lot faster than I do. Apparently that wasn't the answer she was looking for. Clap and whistle when the food arrives. Wait what? Is that a weird thing to do? Punch the nearest child in the stomach. I'm just picturing you bursting into a restaurant. While died, you sprint over to your date and basically scream hi. Are you my date? When they confirm it, you fing supplex the nearest child and grab them by their ankles and swing them at your date. Date successful. Are you my date? UHH yeah I think so. Although you look different in your Tinder picked. Perfect picks up chair and in one fluid motion proceeds to annihilate little to me woo 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 hem. Anyway so tell me about yourself. Turns out the kid was choking and you become a hero. Say excuse me for a moment and leave. I would have to be seated near an exit to make it out within 5 seconds. Show up. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Bring my mother. Sh my pants and blame it on her. You're just so good looking. And it's been a long time. Tell them they remind you of your grandpa, who you've always had a thing for. Results may vary in Alabama. I tried in Alabama now I'm married. Do not do this but I had a date show up and the first thing they did was a surprise kiss to my face. Fart loudly, and lean in to sniff, saying ah, beans and milk brings out the aroma. Start flexing the Chevy trucks your family owns. One of my buddies has a type, my wife and I introduced him to a friend who fit that type. Everyone decided that going on a double date would be fun. My buddy showed up hammered and sort of slid pushed himself into the booth next to her. Before anyone could say anything he says you look like the whore who cheated on me. My wife, our mutual friend, and myself all looked at him and each other with a look of absolute disgust. I managed to say I think I should take you home. Before my wife and our friend said nearly simultaneously you're a refining a hole. He started to backpedal saying it was a joke etc etc. I got up and helped him out of the booth. Basically drug his A to my car. On the drive back to his place he asks me if we're going to the restaurant to meet up with the girls. I asked him if he was serious. He couldn't remember a thing. He was blackout drunk at 7pm on a Tuesday. I told him what happened and he just started to sob. When I returned to the restaurant my wife and our friend were eating and having a pretty good time. They had ordered for me and food was waiting. I told them what happened and our friend said dodge that bullet. I couldn't have agreed more. As time went on. I'm not sure I ever saw that particular guy not drunk on some level. Years later he moved to Japan and he has a long term girlfriend there. We saw each other about 5 years ago and he asked me you fooled around with other women. Right? When you aren't with your wife. He then proceeded to explain to me that every time he traveled he would sleep around. I haven't ever cheated on my wife. Our friendship dissolved rather quickly after that. Fake a seizure and then say, just ki i i i i i i i i ing. Spit my gum into their open mouth. If that doesn't end the date, you're in for quite a night. Be myself. Damn. Felt that. You know, I go to a nice gym. I feel you would like it as well as need it. Tell them my hobby. Fork chop flings fork across the restaurant table hitting someone in the shoulder. Pulls out list of people I want to F. Pulls out list of people I want to cook. Laminated. Forget their name then meow. Happened to me once. I should have fled the scene. I didn't. And he continued to meow randomly the rest of the evening. Edit. I haven't seen the movie Super Troopers. I actually had to google it to find out it was a movie. So I'm not getting the references. Sorry. Should I watch it? Pretty sure it wasn't Tourette says I've never heard of a case where it's just one word noise and he had no physical tics. But could have been. I honestly don't know. Love that everyone is super chill about him not knowing my name after we'd been texting for weeks. Meow? Yes. Are you allergic to any of the various data re drugs? I have a significant problem with there being various data re drugs. Don't worry. Usually it is sufficient if you bring just one. 
I'll remove my phone from my pocket and say to the phone but before I start my sex speedrun, let me tell you about today's sponsor aid, Shadow Legends. Can we skip this and just do the sex thing? Bring up politics, or religion, or spoilers for the show of the moment.